Hello, in this tutorial, we will learn about monitors in Postman. We will try to understand uses of monitors. We will also run a monitor and try to analyze its result from a demo. Monitor feature of Postman is used to monitor your APIs. This monitor will help to schedule execution of test. This scheduled execution of test can be set into per hour execution or in a frame of few hours or a daily execution. After execution, you will get notified with an alert email in case if there are any test cases failed. So in short, we can say that monitor help you to track health of your APIs. Let's go ahead and see the demonstration of monitors. For this demonstration, we will use our collection, which has two requests, a post and a get request, which will create a user and try to get a user. I have written two simple tests under each request to check the written status when we hit this request. If you check on left side of your postman, you will find a monitors option. In monitors option, you can get an option to create a monitor right from here, or you can use a plus button over here. So let's go ahead and create our first monitor. You have to name your monitor. So let me name it as a sample monitor. We have to select a collection which we want to monitor. So now as we decided to use this collection, which we just saw. Next is selecting version tag. Since I don't have any Git integration, so I can just select current. But if your project is already using a Git integration, you can see a latest tag or any tag which you want to monitor. Next option is environment. So this collection, if requires any environment, then you have to select that environment. For my collection, I require this environment. So I'm selecting this environment. Now next is the important section where we have to schedule this monitor. So scheduling is either hourly or weekly. We don't have minute timer option in a free plan, so I cannot select it. For this example, I will select a per hour monitoring. You can select different hour range. I am selecting every hour. Next option is about selecting regions. Since there are many very limited options in a free section, uh, we cannot change this to manual region. So we will just keep it whatever default option is. Next is about setting email addresses. We can set up to five email addresses in the free plan where you will get alert in case any test cases will fail. Next are some configurations which you can use for modifying behavior like stop notification of test. So if your test is consecutively failing and you don't want to get repeating alerts, you can stop it from here. Uh, this is important in case of billing since under paid plan, the billing will basically limit your number of alert emails or number of requests. Even in free plan, the number of requests is only 1000. Next option is to set retry if run fails. So this is again optional if you want to retry your monitoring step or not. Next is setting request timeout or delay. These are quite easy to understand options, but I will leave it as it is for now. Let's go ahead and create our first monitor. Now you can see a run option on screen, which is used for manually triggering this monitor. If I hit this run, a monitor will run manually and we will get result of our test cases. This monitor is configured to run every hour. So after one hour, automatically this monitor will trigger our request in collection and we will get result. Let's go ahead and run this manually and see what happens. Now you can see on your screen that sample monitor has already executed and our status of all APIs is healthy. So our tests are all passed. So it is green and healthy. You can see a couple of details like time when this test case was executed, the time taken for execution of test cases and result of each test case. You can also detail log on console about what happened during execution of this monitor. There are a couple of filtering options which you can use to filter out this result. I can rerun this monitor and check result. Again, it is healthy. Now I want to go ahead and show you what happens in case if any of the test case fails. So I will purposely write a test case which will fail. Let's go ahead and run this test through monitor. And now we know that this test is supposed to fail. So let's see what happens. Okay, here you can see that status is now unhealthy. So our API is failed and you get details of failed API, the time when it was executed time taken and you can also see which test actually failed so 50 percent is success and 50 percent is failure and in the, if i go into this test results area then i know that this get request has actually failed the test of this get request has actually failed here on your screen you can see the type of email you will get when a test is failed this email will have all details about the failed test and total execution of monitor you can also edit your monitor from an option which is located on right side over here just click on edit and you can change things over here if you want to change timer or anything and update it i hope you have understood postman monitors in this video if you have any questions or doubts please feel free to ask them in the comment section if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel there are other videos for postman which i have created and try to make it simple so that everyone can understand thank you very much for watching this video